baseball, an American game of speed. Horse racing, another sport that spells speed in any language. Some guy with a yen for action conceived the idea of combining baseball with horse racing, thus creating a game of super speed. His brain worked something like this. And when he had it all figured out, he found he couldn't afford race horses. So he got himself a flock of donkeys. Hey, you. Not you, the other jackass. What do you mean, the other jackass? Don't you insult my donkeys. Donkey baseball is not yet played professionally. The team's being composed of businessmen of the town. So now we see who is to be first at bat. Hey, little fella, you can't make it. But wait, let's put on the uniforms. Bend over, men. The players don the official uniforms for the game. The donkeys play just as is. And here is donkey baseball. The game goes like this. Everyone is mounted on a donkey excepting the pitcher, the batter, and the catcher. The pitcher must keep his feet in the box at all time. Okay, play ball. As soon as the batter gets a hit, he leaps on his donkey and gallops down the first base. The fielders are permitted to get off of their mounts to pick up the ball, but before throwing it, must get back on the donkey. The ball is then thrown to the pitcher. The pitcher then relays the ball to the baseman. Safe on first, and now you know the rules of donkey baseball. Hours have passed, and we now pick up the game at the end of the 12th inning. The score is tied, 40 to 40. Oh boy, a long hit out the left field. That should be at least a three-bagger. But in donkey baseball, you can't tell what will happen. Come on, step on the gas. The left fielder goes after the ball, but he falls a little short. Short and hard. He should arrive at first base come next Whitsuntide. Ah, the ball is finally recovered. You can see for yourself how the donkeys speed up this game. At last, safe on first. Wham! There goes a hot one right down to the shortstop. Look out! Never give a donkey an even break. Most anything is allowed in donkey baseball. This donkey likes vegetables, and he doesn't care at all what kind they are. Something will have to be done about this. The donkeys are all doing what they're supposed to do. He snaps the ball to the pitcher. Come on, throw it to third base. Throw it to second. Get the guy on first. Ah, oh, sit on it. Take it easy now. The bases are full. Wow! Looks like a home run with the bases full. Yes, sir. Everything is working fine now. Here they come. One run. Good boy. Two runs. That's us stuff. And here comes the vegetarian with the third run. He gets a lot of mileage out of one carrot. And here comes another one. Oh boy, what a ball game this is. Hey, don't stop there. You see, that's why donkeys have so few friends. The pitcher can't quite reach the ball. Serves him right for biting his nails. That's why I like my horse, Graham. Watch him, umpire. Be sure he keeps his feet in the box. Aw, oh, gee, he didn't make it. That's three out and retires the side. You're breaking my heart. The score is now 43 to 40. There is one half inning left to win or tie the score. Drop that bottle and play ball. Hey, bottle mouth, you're next up at bat. Okay, last half of the last inning, let's go. That was a beauty right out the center field. Hey, wait a minute. What kind of goings on is this? Next time anyone calls me a donkey, I'll know it's an insult. Well, the game must go on. Here comes the pitch. Hit it. He did. It's a beauty. Hey, don't do that. You'll never make it that way. Somebody forgot to explain the rules to this donkey, so that makes him unruly. That's not a good pun, but somebody might like it. He can't let go of the donkey to get the ball. This reminds me of that old, old proverb. You can lead a horse to water, but what are you going to have yourself? Throw it 
the first. He's out. I hope we don't have to wait until they wake up to go on with the game. It's hard to tell in donkey baseball. What's this? Oh, a wise guy, huh? And what's this? Hold her head, Newt. She's headed for the barn. It's one out. Smacko, a beauty out to center field. That guy won't be able to sit down for a week. He bounces like six miles of detour. Keep going, make it a two-bagger. According to the rules, you have to be attached to your donkey while fielding the ball. He's still on first. This game would be faster if they played it with elephants. The rules say hold on to your donkey. That's what I call stretching the rule. Well, it beats dragging that donkey all over the lot. No use throwing it, they're both safe. A man on second and a man on first. Look out, here comes a runaway donkey. Ah, here's a fella that knows something about donkeys. So, he chases him right off of his street. We go on with the game. What do you do in a case like that? Well, the rules say you must ride your donkey or carry him. So in this case, he carries him. Keep going, we need three runs to tie the score. The funniest part of this is that he doesn't have to do it. The game is just played for fun. Some fun, eh? One run, two more and we tie the score. Sit down in front. It looks like a great day for the home team. Now they are only one run behind. Ah, sit down. And here is the run that ties the score. The donkeys sure are a big help in this game. Boo! This donkey gets a big kiss. Well, every man to his own taste. What's this? Why, here comes Paul Revere. After a conscientious search of two hours, he finally found first base. So now he thunders on to second base. He crosses third base in a cloud of dust. And here he comes with the winning run for the home team. The score at the end of the game is 44 to 43. There seems to be an argument about that last run. Well, I insist the home team won. If I'm wrong, sue me.